Ashley Cher. I'm the founder and CEO of Cher Lab Fund. And today we are going to do a guided meditation for children as part of our RCYT, Registered Children's Yoga Teacher Training um, degree program. Accredited by Yoga Alliance. If you are not already enrolled, you can enroll at sharelove.fund slash train. Now this guided meditation is called listening meditation. It is appropriate for any child three years old or older. So you can use this in preschools, middle schools, and also elementary schools. It is rated an easy level, which means it is appropriate as a child's first meditation. This meditation fosters a heightened awareness for the present moment and the environment. It is best done when seated, when a child is alert. Let us begin. You can sit upright on a chair or on the ground. So this can be a chair meditation for the classroom setting. You can also do this lying down on your back with your feet extended in front of you and your hands resting along your body. So I'll demonstrate what that would look like. That would just be in Savasana or Corpse Pose. Feet gently resting to the sides, hands to the side. Head up. Eyes closed or soft, gentle gaze. If children are doing this on their backs and there is an overhead light, you may want to turn that off so that the light is not in their eyes because it is not always comfortable for people to close their eyes, especially in a group setting. To enjoy the full benefits of the meditation, it's important to be comfortable. I'll give everyone a moment to get comfortable in their position of choice whether it's in a chair as a seated meditation, or on the ground like I am, or laying down. If you are already in your position of choice, use this time to take a few deep breaths and feel yourself getting heavier and more secure in your position with every breath. Take a deep breath in through your nose, open your mouth, and breathe it out. Once again, inhale through your nose, and exhale through your mouth. Now bring your attention to any sounds around you. Continue to breathe, but listen for sounds. In this meditation, we're really exercising our hearing muscles, our auditory sense. Listen carefully, still while continuing to breathe. And listening to the sounds around you. Don't talk about the sounds that you hear. We're not exercising the vocal cords. We're really just exercising the ears and listening to the sounds while at the same time breathing in the nose and out the mouth. Or if your nose is stepped up, breathe any which way. What matters most is that you're breathing and not holding your breath and listening, listening, listening. Really stretch those listening muscles. Can you hear any sound? Is the sound that you hear near or is it far? What sound is it? Don't answer, just think in your head. What sound are you listening to? What sound can you hear? Is there no sound? 
Is there silence? <sighs> Try not to judge it. Try not to figure out what the sounds are. Just exercise your ears to say, I notice the sound or I notice the silence. Listen carefully to the lack of sound, the space where there's no sound if you are experiencing silence. Now let's draw inward and we'll stay very, very still, still listening to the sounds in the environment. So let's make ourselves really quiet while we listen to the sound. I'm going to end this meditation, but you can elongate it however long you want as a teaching tool to really help students increase their attention span by listening for sounds. This is also a wonderful way to foster discussion after, and the students and children can share information about all the sounds that they heard during the meditation. And it's really interesting to do this meditation as a group because although many people may be seated in the same space, they may all have different observations about what sounds occurred. May the light in me be the light in you. Have a blessed day. Namaste.